Hey guys, this is Tracy Roach. I wanted to show you guys a really quick video today about uh, some awesome iridescent glittery ink that I have uh, come up with the recipe for. I say come up with, I'm sure there are other people who've done this. This is new to me though. I was really excited about it. Um, we are doing a ladies tea at my church and this is the third year that we're doing it and I am excited about it. It's a really beautiful um, thing that we do every year and I always, um, we do a really fancy table. It, there's, you can be a table captain and you set up your table with your, um, all your fancy china and everything and everybody dresses up and it's an, a, lot, a lot of fun. But I always do really fancy name cards for mine and so I found out kind of last minute this year that we were having a theme, which we normally don't. Um, but this year we're doing After the Storm. And they encourage you to do something kind of storm or rain related with your table. And so I wanted to do my name cards with some really um, like glittery dark gray ink. And immediately I thought of Fine Tech. They've got some beautiful silvers. The other silver inks that I have found have been kind of um, almost white or pearl. And so I wanted something that would really pop. But I unfortunately did not have time to order any Fine Tech to get it here in time. So I thought, well, I'm just going to look around and see what I've got. So what I had as far as gray inks, and I didn't want black, but what I found as, gray, as far as gray was I had this Eagle Line liquid watercolor in cold gray. And so I thought, well, that'll work. So um, I grabbed my pen and the ink, and I'm going to show you. Now, I love this color. I do. Um, just as it is, it's uh, kind of translucent, which I really enjoy in an ink. And they're right out here. see it's it's pretty thin and um, which is not a bad thing in most situations but here I wanted something um, a little more and um, with some sparkle to it I guess you could say and so I didn't really want to just go with this and so I was kind of looking around and I found in my stash this stuff this is Winsor & Newton Watercolor Iridescent Medium. I grabbed this, I think, at Hobby Lobby. You can also get it for about the same price at, out on Amazon, and I'm gonna go ahead and link to that below. And you can also grab Ecolines on Amazon. Um, your price on those is gonna range currently from anywhere from about $7 up to about $15, depending on your color. The gray is one of the cheaper colors, um, but of course, you know, prices vary on Amazon from time to time. But anyway, so I grabbed a little dinky dip here and I put some of the gray in there and I added some of the liquid watercolor medium, the iridescent medium, and I was so stoked with what came out. It was a very, very glittery gray. And it's definitely what I'm going to be using for my place cards. But I thought, man, these are beautiful. And I have got a number of um, Ecolon watercolors, and so I thought, you know, I would just put together another one here on camera for you. I've already done a couple. I'm sorry, I'm not so great at talking and writing at the same time. And I'm going to throw some still shots up as well afterwards because it's kind of hard to capture the glitter look on this. I'm going to lift it up here and see if I can show you. It also does not show as well when it is wet. So, um, let's see. This is, I don't know if you can tell here, but if not, I'm gonna, again, take some still shots and show you guys at the end. So, I'm really pleased with that. That's what I'm gonna do for my place cards. But I went ahead and mixed up some other colors. I did a green, I don't know if you can see how shimmery that is. And I did, a, um, this was this one it's a tur turquoise blue and it turned out really pretty and I also did this this was um, a this was not an eco line color this was a dr. PH Martin's um, radiant concentrated watercolor and they tend to not do great with a lot of papers just as they are um, but I went ahead and put that together and it did really well with not bleeding and it just, I wrote ruby slippers because that's what it reminded me of. It's so glittery and sparkly. 
but it did really well with a lot of different papers and I tried it out on some stuff that really tends to bleed with most inks and it did really well it didn't bleed I'm not gonna put that in this video I may do another video comp uh, comparison on that because I always love to find an ink that'll work well with um, different papers so what I want to do here is I want to make some glittery Prussian blue. Prussian blue is one of my favorite colors. So you just, it doesn't take a whole lot of this. But I've got my little dinky dip here. Um, these, I believe, were actually sourced from a medical supply company or a lab. And a awesome lady from my calligraphy guild purchased a thousand of these and then sold them to some of us at cost and so I was excited to have those and I have filled up a ton of them but they transport ink really really well and you don't have to worry about spilling you'll have to excuse, <laughs> excuse my nails speaking of spilling not out of a dinky dip but I had a sumi ink spill earlier and it was everywhere all inside my ink drawer and so I spent half the morning wiping that up so my fingernails look like I've been working in a coal mine you just kind of put kind of a dollop of this in there. Now this comes in a 75 milliliter bottle and so that's going to do a ton of these. And nothing fancy to mix it here. I literally just shook it up. Um, a lot of times you don't want to shake stuff up with ink because uh, you're going to get bubbles but with the dinky dip it's not such a big deal because it's such a small vial. And I don't know if you can see, I don't know if you can see how iridescent that is. It's beautiful though. And so I'm going to something here. Let's just try it out. Oh, I love it. That's so pretty. And I love Fontech, I really do, but um, this just works beautifully for me because look how smooth it is. And fine tech is a, you, you've kind of got to, you've kind of got to be good at your technique with that. I'm not, fine tech is something I tend to fight with. A lot of people have no problem with it, and someday I'll get better at it. But right now, I'm really loving this. Li liquid inks are just more my friend. with this. I love it. I am using a Nico G nib, if you wondered, and it's just your, probably your most basic beginner nib, but I love it. Um, and this is um, HP Premium Laser Jet Paper. This is my go-to paper for pointed pen calligraphy. It does really well with almost any ink. Um, just fabulous. And I wanted to show you um, this is my light pad. This is a Crayola Kids light pad. I love it. I've got two of these and I got them both at thrift stores. Um, I think I paid $2.99 for one and $5.99 for one. I think they work just as well as the big fancy expensive light pads. Um, they are brand new. I think they're about $20 to $25 on Amazon. I'll throw a link to those up as well. Um, but you can't go wrong with this. I think it's, it's nice and bright. Um, fits an 8.5 by 11 sheet perfectly, which is what the HP Premium Laser Jet is. And I wanted to show you this. These, this right here is my um, vellum guide sheet. These are by Kestrel Montez of Ink Me This. Now, these came in a set of um, 12, I believe, and I paid, I wanna say it was a dollar, or about a dollar a sheet. I think it was $11.99 for the set of 12. And these are printed out on a vellum, um, and it um, is wipeable, and it's obviously very see-through so that it doesn't block the light coming through on your light pad. Makes fabulous guidelines. The set of 12, they were all different. She had like a dot grid, she had uh, different sizes. This is a five millimeter, 55 degree, but she had them in three millimeter and four millimeter. She had 52 degrees, 55 degrees, um, just, just several different options. But the best news is these are actually a free download if you just want to print them yourself, um, which you can, but I really love the vellum idea. I love something a little sturdier and something I can wipe off because I am clumsy as evidenced by my Sumi ink spill earlier. <laughs> but, um, 
Um, I'm going to throw a link down below that you can use to get 10% off of anything from Kestel Shop. She makes some amazing um, calligraphy pens, or I should say her husband does, um, and she is just an amazing calligraphy artist herself. She makes beautiful address stamps, and you should check her out. And this, this is one of my favorite products that I own from her, but I also have one of her calligraphy pens, and I hope to get more because it's gorgeous, and there are many more beautiful pens there and on, on her shop. She restocks generally every Sunday and sells out quick so you've got to be on the ball but if you see something of hers that you like you can always order it as a one-off and, and they'll, they'll make it to order it'll just take a little bit longer than the, the ready to buy ones but anyway um, I wanted to show you you know as I said how to do these glittery inks I feel like this is pretty cost-effective there's not a whole lot of material in this but this is gonna last a good long while um, and again 75 milliliters there was just a little doll with that in here and that's gonna last a good long while as well so I'm gonna link all this stuff below and I hope you guys have enjoyed this I hope this helps you and again I'm gonna throw some still shots up at the end showing um, just some close-ups maybe even some um, dreaded flash shots of some of this because they are really really beautiful in person and hey, it's kind of hard to capture that sometimes on video I don't know if you can see that very very sparkly but anyway, I hope that this, got, this has helped you guys, and we will see you next time. Bye!